stress. We're all experiencing a lot of stress right now. It's understandable. There's a lot going on in the world, more than ever. We've always been stressed and now things are times 10. So I want to talk about some stress relieving techniques today. And they're not your basic sit quietly and think type techniques, which I do believe there are a lot of wonderful techniques to sit quietly and meditate, do those sorts of things. Because sometimes you need something a little bit more. When you are super stressed, when you are engaged in an argument and you can't figure out how to calm yourself down, sometimes you need something a little bit more. So I wanna give you some physical releases for stress when you can't sit quietly or think rationally. And for those of you I don't know, I'm Kelly Page. I'm a certified transformational health and nutrition coach. And I always say I like to help women feel lighter in their mind and body so we can show up with more energy, enthusiasm, a balanced mood, and just feel good. One of the ways we do that is by getting rid of stress or finding ways to tame it. You're never gonna get rid of it, but are there ways you can manage it? As I mentioned, Stress comes up, usually the first thing people talk about when it comes to stress is, um, you know, go sit and meditate, do something quiet. But I don't know, if you're like me, I can't sit and be quiet when I've got rage or anger or I'm hitting something. I can't do it. Sometimes I can, it just depends on the level. So I think there's a time and a place for meditation, absolutely. There's definitely a time and a place to talk it out with someone, to try and get to the root cause, to the trigger that caused the stress. That's something I do in my coaching. I work with women to figure out what it is, what's under there and what's causing the pain, what's causing the angst. But sometimes you can't think it out. Sometimes you wanna be out of here. So let's talk about some physical releases. Because what's happening in the body is when you're stressed, cortisol is released. Cortisol is your stress hormone. And normally this is a wonderful thing. If you were being chased by a bear, you'd say, oh my gosh, I gotta run away. Cortisol would be released. So you have the energy to go run. Fabulous. Except we don't have bears and we have lots of little daily stressors that come on and can make us super anxious. So our cortisol is raised up and down, up and down most of the day. It never gets a chance to really settle. And when cortisol is raised, I'm sure you know what that feels like. You might be feeling it right now. That's stress, that's angst in the body. There's extra energy. There's a tightness sometimes in your chest. And when that happens, that when your cortisol is uh, elevated like that for a consistent amount of time, you're not gonna sleep well. You're gonna have a reaction. You're gonna be very reactionary, which is gonna also make you choose different foods. When you're super stressed out, your body is craving carbs and sugar because it wants a physical quick hit. It's feeling this energy and it's like, ah, I gotta go into battle, even though you're just battling your email or whatever it is or people. It craves carbs and sugar. So if you find when you're super stressed out, you're like, oh my gosh, I just want salty snacks and chocolates and that sort of thing. That could just be elevated cortisol. Right. So stress causes the cortisol to go up, which can cause your waistline to go up because you're eating more and your hormones are off. So let's talk about what to do. Now again, I'm talking about physical releases, when you can't sit quietly and find things to be grateful for, when you're not in the mood to meditate, when you don't wanna talk it out, when you need to get the angst out, here are some physical releases. And of course, number one is exercise, right? You've got this excess cortisol ready to run from the bear. Well, run, you don't need to run like you're running from a bear, but exercise it out and that can be a run but it can also just be a walk. It can be moving your body because what you're trying to do is release the cortisol and get your endorphins up. That's what exercise does. That can elevate your endorphins. It can reduce your cortisol. So move your body. 
And if you're not into exercising right now, you got an injury or it's cold outside, dancing, put on a great song. You know I love to dance it out. Put on a great song because that's also going to get your auditory muscles engaged and you're going to be having fun and then you're just going to dance. And if you're like, yeah, no, Kelly, I'm not going to dance. That's just not happening. Shake, jump up and down. Because keep in mind, cortisol, stress, makes you more anxious. So you want to literally shake it out, shake it out. And so that can be jumping up and down. That's going to get your lymphatic system involved as well. It can just be shaking because we hold so much stress in our shoulders in our body so that shaking can literally physically start moving things around and what's also great about it is that it gets you from your head to your body because often we're spinning and we're repeating and repeating the same stuff over and over we can't see clearly so doing this just gets back in sometimes putting your hand on your heart on your belly can help you further engage in your body, shake it out. And another quick tip, if you just want a quick stress reliever, you're at your desk, you're engaging with someone on email that you're not happy with, do the flutter of the lips. Yeah, seriously, we hold a lot of tension in our jaws. Anyone have a sore jaw lately? Yeah, we can get tense there. Doing that a couple times will just physically start to release things. So move your body in some way. Walk, run, shake, dance, flutter your lips. These are all great ways to start reducing the cortisol and increasing the endorphins. Another great way to release stress in your body physically is a forward fold. So simple, so easy, literally head down to your toes. Now, some of us are at various degrees of flexibility and it doesn't matter. What you're trying to do is get your head below your heart. When your head's below your heart, you get a signal to your brain, everything's okay, we don't need to be running from tigers, we just need to relax a little bit. So head below your heart, you don't need straight legs, in fact, don't lock your legs out, you don't wanna tense up your, uh, your legs. You can bend your knees as much as you need. Put your chest on your knees and just bend over. Do that for a minute, however long feels good. That's gonna change your blood flow. This is all about changing your energy. It's all about getting the unstuckness out of your body. So try the forward fold. You can even just uh, sit down on the floor and bend forward. All of this is good, head below heart. That's gonna be super helpful. And while I said meditation is tricky when you're super stressed out because you can't be quiet, you can't sit still, it can be really hard to meditate and sit quietly when you're super stressed out. So one thing I like to do in place is just some deep breathing. We wanna get into the body. We wanna release some of the energy, the stress that's stored. I don't know about you, but when I'm super stressed out, really tight in the chest, sometimes I feel like I'm holding my breath. So the deep breathing is just a way to relax all of that. And one of my favorite deep breathing exercises when I just need a quick couple second reset in the middle of a call, a meeting or whatever, is a squeeze and release breath. Where as you inhale, you can sip in the air and then tense any part of your body that you feel needs a little extra releasing. A lot of people that shoulders, you can do a full body. So what it looks like is holding and tensing and clenching, holding a beat at the top and then releasing through your mouth. And when you release through your mouth, you also release your entire body and muscles. Let's do that a few times together. Just try it out. Ready, inhale, squeeze, hold, and release. Inhale, squeeze, hold, release. One more, inhale, squeeze, hold, and release. 
What that's doing, it's also sending a signal to your parasympathetic nervous system that everything's okay. There's no need for alarm. We can relax. I don't know about you, I feel better from doing that. So anytime you need that quick squeeze and release breath, that's a deep, breath, deep breathing exercise that can be super helpful. You can also count your breaths. Just focusing on the breathing, focusing on something outside of here can help you get back into your body and help you kind of manage the situation again. And there was many, many other ideas um, you can read in the article below. Everything from hugging a person that releases the oxytocin, a feel good, hug them for at least five seconds. None of this quick, although, you know, it's, it's dangerous times, so make sure you're hugging the appropriate person that you are in a bubble with. But if you don't have a person to hug, you can hug a tree. Being in nature is a double bonus of fabulousness. Being outside, the energy of uh, the outdoors is wonderful. You can hug a pet, pet a pet. There's so much research about hugging a pet or petting a pet about how that releases uh, cortisol and uh, gets the endorphins going. Laughter is another one, real or fake. Yeah, you can go put your favorite comedian on a podcast on, on YouTube, but if you don't have that, the fake laughter, <laughs> your brain doesn't know what's real or fake. So the laughter, again, gets rid of the cortisol and brings up the endorphins. So laugh it out whether you are in the mood or not. Think of your last time you laughed so hard you cried. Think of your friends. I have a couple friends who have the funniest laugh and sometimes thinking of that makes me laugh as well. So I have lots more ideas to get rid of that stress in your body. And if you need extra help, I do coach women one-on-one. -on -one to relieve stress so they can have more energy, they can make good food choices so they can feel nourished, healthy, and alive. So I hope everyone has a wonderful stress-free day today.